Welcome everyone to C3 Bashers. Um, today we are going to get ready to primer up the Blitzer Beetle. Um, as you can see, I have got all the mold lines filled and smoothed out. I've got the nose piece glued on and uh, puttied up, smoothed out, looks great. The sunroof, if you watch the Strip the Blitz video, you know that this thing was caked with hot glue when I got it. Um, what I had actually done is I ordered a new parts for it. Uh, got my driver with it, he's getting worked on. So I'm going to get this thing primered, ready to go. And when she is done i'll take a few more videos and we'll put it all on here so you can see how the progress is going on this thing uh, as you can tell there's quite a bit of filling i didn't do a video on the fill and that's pretty straightforward it's the same as when you're building a real truck you put it on you sand it off if it's good and you're happy go with it if you still got low spots Put more fill in it, let it dry, sand it off, keep going until you are satisfied with what you got. So let me get a coat of primer on this and we'll see what she looks like one color. I want to do a quick side note on the filler. Uh, I just used the Tamiya basic, basic type putty. Um, use just a standard car applicator to put it on and when I knocked it down once it was dried I used the 220 um, I think maybe a 300 would have been better because this cut it pretty quick and it took a little work to get some of the scratches out so maybe a 300 grit would be better to knock down the putty but I started with that once I got it down I got a 400 and 600 grit, which I also used as a block for knocking down the putty to begin with. But I used the 400 and 600, 400 to take it down a little bit more, 600 to touch it up a little bit more. And then when I was happy with the results of it, what I, would, what I did then is these right here, these are foam 3M Ultra Fine. They're a blending, it's an 800 grit. And you use this more to blend the uh, putty into the, the body of whatever you're working on. And this does a fantastic job of really smoothing everything out, getting rid of all those fine cuts. This, this makes it look really nice. So uh, once you're satisfied with your initial knockdown and, and you're almost to the point uh, where you feel like you're ready to primer, I would go with the 800 grit here. And just go over it real, real easy a few times. Get all that uh, excess off, and it, it'll really, really touch up your finish job. So I'm gonna get back to primering the bug. Here's a little quick peek. Whoop. A little blind spider took the wheel. You're navigating grass blades completely by feel. Gotta sass a chassis. Sparkle in the sun All four small ball fat tires Rocking through the sand and burning up Little dune bug out In the sand A little blue dune bug out In my hand Okay, I got a rubber band motor Home and on the beach, ready for fun. I quit spinning that web and come out and play in the sun. Eight thimble sized cylinders to be as smooth as you please. The spider's badass fat old abdomen stuck in the bucket seat. Little dune bug out in the sand. A little blue dune bug out in my hand.
squishy transmission was caught in drive.